Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're continuing on our foundation testing series and today's product of choice is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. Tarte is pretty difficult to get hold of in the UK. We can't buy Tarte in stores over here. You have to go to the States or you can now order online from Tarte and they ship to the UK. I am also a big fan of the Shape Tape Concealer and I'm really interested to see how the foundation works alongside it. The packaging doesn't really give us a lot of information. It is a water foundation, it's cruelty free and um, shake well before you. <laughs> I bought this in the shade Fair Neutral. May go horribly wrong. I do quite like that lid actually, that's quite cute. You get 30 mils of foundation in the bottle and to apply it we have doo -doo 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 -doo, a little dropper. I'm just gonna go for it and drop. Ooh, that's quite liquid actually. The colour looks okay actually on my skin. Let's hope it's okay for my face as well. I'm going to start off by applying to this side of my skin first. And to apply my foundation today, I'm using the Real Techniques Setting Brush. I actually really like how small and fluffy this brush is and I feel like it's a perfect size. So I'm just gonna jump straight into it and let's apply that foundation. Ooh, that has covered pretty well to start with. How nice is that finish? Doesn't really look like I'm wearing anything. Because the shape tape is so full coverage, I'm actually really surprised at how natural that foundation genuinely looks. There's literally barely anything on here and I feel like it just blends out so perfectly. We are definitely on a roll at the moment. We're finding good foundations. I really, really like how natural it looks. It's given a good level of coverage. It doesn't look cakey. Even in low light, it looks amazing on my skin. And I'm really happy with how that looks and where we're at. I'm gonna apply a small amount of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer into that under eye area. I'm gonna go in with the same color, Fair Neutral. Using the same Real Techniques brush, I'm just going to gently blend it out. It definitely does give you that really beautiful highlighted look. And to set my base today, I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. After finishing my base, it's not the most natural of base products I've ever used, especially after applying a little bit of powder, and I am really happy with how that looks right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. And this is how the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation looks with a little touch of extra makeup. For my eyeshadow today, I actually used the Anastasia Subculture palette. You can watch my first impressions and review of this video by clicking up here, I think it is. Or you can check out the link in the description box down below. I'm now gonna leave this whole makeup look on my face for as long as possible and I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so it's now 2 a.m. and my makeup has been on my skin for eight hours. I wanted to check in and let you guys know where I am at. We applied the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and I really, really liked how this foundation looked when we first applied it. I think it was very easy to use. I like the fact that it has a dropper which always keeps it clean and contamination free. It looked really natural on the skin. It didn't look really cakey. It looked really subtle, very radiant and slightly satin too. Let's take a closer look and figure out what's happened. You know what? It doesn't actually look that bad. It actually looks really good still. We definitely have a few areas of pigmentation that's showing through that foundation. A slight creasing in the under eye area. A touch of cakiness happening just off the side of my nose and underneath my eyes. We are also wearing away slightly down the sides of my nose. Overall though, I do have to say that I am quite impressed with how that's looking. The thing that lets this look down today is the brows. I grabbed the wrong brow 
about products. So they're very, very warm today. Most water foundations usually need quite a lot of powder to set them. This one on the other hand, I feel like maybe I might have used a little bit too much. Maybe I should have just powdered the T-zone by itself rather than the entire face. I don't know, it's gone to I am. I'm not really making much sense right now. Would I recommend the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation based on how my skin has worn throughout the day, how it looked at the start, how it's also kind of remotely acceptable right now? I would say yeah, I really liked how this looked on the skin. I will definitely be using this foundation again. Let me know what you guys think of this foundation in the comment section down below. Have you tried the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation? Would you try it? Would you buy it? Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to see some more foundation reviews you can click here and for weird and wonderful product reviews here. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!